Hey guys, me Aviation Kid here, and today we are back with another video. Today, as you can see, we are going to do another unboxing video. It's been a very long time. It's been like two weeks since my last um, video, which was a collection video and the Etihad 77-9 video. It was a Manchester City uh, livery. If you haven't checked that video, go subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell um, to notify um, if I make another video. And once you go into my channel, you can see all of the 17 videos I made. But now, since this is going to be uploaded, it will be 18 videos. So today, we are doing a 1 to 200 scale um, unboxing by JC Wings. Um, this is kind of like an interactive series model, so um, I don't know if it really is because... This might be a 2019 release or a 2020 release. Um, I don't know if JC Wix is going to be producing this model again. I'm not pretty sure, but good thing I've got the model right here beside me. So let's do that. So yeah. So here it is. Here's the box. You know, um, the rest of the box is um, on the other side. So here it is just to um, show you what it will look like. So this is the brand new Airbus Beluga XL in the 1 to 400, uh, 1 to 200 scale. Um, JC Wings has made the 1 to 400 and the 1 to 200 scale. Other um, companies like Gemini Jets has made the 1 to 200 scale model. Kind of the same thing as this, but just a slightly different um, similarities. Um, also, there's another company called NG Models who also made a Beluga XL. I'm pretty sure they only made a 1 to 400 um, version. So this is the JC Wings version, as you can see. The front of the box has the plane, the Beluga XL logo right there, the plane, and um, I'm not pretty sure what this says, but it says one to 200 scale diecast aircraft model, right, sorry, right there. Um, the top of the box it says Airbus Beluga. Next, it has the same thing, Airbus Beluga with a price tag. I actually bought this from Threshold Aviation, one of the best aviation stores in Canada. And this cost me over $170, so I hope this is worth it. Next, we have the specifications with the Airbus Beluga um, XL logo. Um, so specifications about the aircraft and more specifications. Um, you guys can pause this video if you want to read this, and let's continue. So this is just one part of the box. There's another part of the box where um, basically the model and other parts um that are in here so here it is um this is when you take it out from the other part i just showed you right here so once you open it it's just basically all blank and i'm pretty sure when you open a 1 to 200 skill jc wings model um there will be a opened part here from the bottom as you can see there are styrofoam and there's a little hole where you can see the beluga xl tail i've already um I got this model like for Christmas. If you haven't seen my Christmas unboxings, I think it's one of my oldest videos. It was during Christmas time, so it's pretty cool. So here's the styrofoam part. That's basically what it is. And here is the model. So let me just bring you in close. Let me just take the camera. And we place the model right here. So here it is, the Beluga XL model. So here is the model. Here is the stand right here, can we see it? Here's the stand. Here's is the landing gear, and here is um, it's kind of like an interactive series model because this is kind of like an open door configuration part. Like um, I'll show you later, but this is actually pretty cool. It adds uh, more detail to the aircraft. So um, if you find this model in any local um, aircraft show, um, aircraft store, I definitely recommend you getting the 1 to 200 scale version. If there's a JC Wings 1 to 400 scale version, then you should also get it because it actually comes with this. But this is the 1 to 200 scale version. It's very big. I actually want to get the 1 to 400 version. But um, Threshold Aviation and Air, uh, AV World Canada are one of the most biggest AV World stores in Canada. Do not. They used to have the JC Wings version uh, on the 1 to 400 scale. But they don't. Um, 
They don't sell it anymore. Also with this, they don't sell it anymore. But instead of the JC Wings 1 to 200 version, you can also get the Gemini Jet 1 to 200 version. It is pretty rare. I don't really want to get the Gemini Jets one because I already have one right here. So I don't want to waste too much money because I'm going to get um, more new uh, limited edition models in the future. So yeah, so here it is a door which can add detail to your model i'll show you what it will do um um uh, after i unbox this so let me put this back and let's do this so let me just it's down it is actually very very big so i recommend you be careful as you see my hand so let's take this out so first let's start with the stand it is very, very hard to open so here it is the stand it's just the base is white and this part is silver as you can see, they have um, black foam here to protect um, underneath the model. As you can see, there are text with the Beluga XL uh, logo, scale 1 to 200, and um, it is actually made from an AC30-700L. I'm not pretty sure what L stands for, but I think it's mostly for freighters or cargo planes. So yeah, it's pretty cool. The original Beluga, actually, if you don't know, the original Beluga is actually made from an A300 or an A310. But this Beluga XL is made from an A330, which is pretty, actually pretty cool. It's a nice upgrade to the Beluga family. So, here's the door as I showed you earlier. Next, we have the landing gear. So, um... I actually already opened the, some parts of the um, closed configuration for the doors. But here are the landing gears. There's another configuration doors. Um, they could put it in the um, in-flight configuration. I already put on the model, so yeah. Let's put that to a side. And the model is right here. So here it is. Let me put the box to the side. And here it is. Here is the Beluga. XL it is very very big as you can see I've already put um, the in-flight configuration doors right there uh, right there and in the nose right there so there is a lot of details to this model it actually looks like an actual beluga um, actual beluga animal if you don't know a beluga animal is actually exists which is actually pretty cool so there's many been upgrades to this um, beluga, and it's very, very big. It's also heavy. So let me put this to the sand. So here it is, the Beluga XL. So let's start with the specifications. So let's start. Um, first, uh, actually, instead of just let's start right now, let's actually take out the uh, closed door configurations. I mean the doors underneath the underneath um, the wings and the cockpit. So I'm just opening this because there are these parts like Twizzlers that you can easily take it out because there is a hole. I can't know you can't really see my head. There is a hole if you can't really see it, but there's a hole there um, where you can actually stick this in and you can pull it out. It's pretty useful. See? It's pretty easy. You have to get used to it. So that's one door out. Um, I'm going to do the front uh, door last. Here's the second one. Oh, good thing I didn't lose it because this is actually pretty heavy. So here's the second one. And the third one is out. Oh, there you go. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to close up to the camera to see if we can focus. So you can see the registrations on there just XL. Here we see it. So that's all. And then let's put this back on the stand. And let's take out the landing gear. So we can put this on the ground. Okay. There are many parts. <laughs> okay, let's take the model back off the stand. And we're gonna go first with the front landing gear. Oh, put it backwards. So there you go, and the front front wheel is right in there. Now we're gonna do the right wing, I'm pretty sure. So there we go. 
and then we're gonna do its left wing. So all the landing gears are there. As you can see, there is a Beluga XL text. So let's um, move everything out of the way. And just give me a sec, I just need to clean up. So, um, I actually got this model like last year for Christmas. My, uh, my parents surprised me, if you haven't seen the video. Um, it's my second oldest video, I think it's my oldest video on my YouTube channel. It's, um, uh, got pranked on Christmas Day by mom or something like that. If you haven't watched that video, please watch it. Um, it'll be actually pretty funny. Um, so yeah. But that's actually the video not, uh, where I actually... Got the prize from, from the Vluga. I'm not pretty sure what the video was called. But it has a specific date. So um, if you guys find it, then maybe you can see uh, how my uh, parents pranked me on that day. So we're almost done. So let's start with specifications. So first, we have the nose area. So here is the nose cone, here is the cockpit window. Here, as you can see, there is a smile that connects with the eye that looks like a beluga. There are many different lines that um, that were made on the maiden flight of the Beluga XL. As you can see, there is a cutout of the cargo door. You can actually shake this out on all. So as you can see, you gotta take it out. It's all bare metal, as you can see. So the same thing, what I showed you earlier. Hollow, it's basically all hollow. And then next, as you can see, under that, there is some details right there. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll show you later of other specifications about this model. But. So, yeah. So, next we have the landing gear, which says XL. I don't know if you can really see it, but it says XL right there. Furthermore, we have the Bluga XLI. Then we have a first antenna right here with some beacon lights. Um, I don't think we can really see them, but they're right in front of the um, first antenna. Next we have the Beluga, the huge Beluga XL logo. It's very, very nice. It actually goes, the X connects all the way up and then connects to the other side, which is actually pretty cool. Next we have the main landing gear right on the wing and we have one of one of the old um, AC30 engines that the Beluga is using. Next, we have this wide wing with um, an AC30 winglet, and then we have actually two antennas. I can't really see for sure, but there's two antennas right here, and then we have. Not pretty sure what these parts are called, but yeah. Maybe they help reduce drag. Maybe, I'm not pretty sure. Um, but there is a registration here. I can't really see. Um, which is called F-WBXL. Next we have the beautiful tail with special um, Beluga um, elevators. I don't know what these parts are called, but they're on the also original um, Beluga. Right under the Beluga, is the Beluga XL. It doesn't say Airbus on it, but it says Beluga, and the background is XL. So this is what is under the aircraft. The wings have the registration. There's nothing really new about this aircraft, but it looks very, very nice. One thing I actually want to show you is that this door. If you don't know, remember about this earlier in the video, you can actually connect it to front of the aircraft. See, it's all hollow. See, it's just the engine, a Lego engine. I actually wanted to put it there for display, but for some reason it got um, stuck there, but it's fine. Cause I can put it out later. So as you can see, there are four holes, which can connect to these, oh, whoa. Which can connect to right there. And then what you can do is just, you can slightly put this in carefully. And there you go. You just have to be careful, I have no clue what just happened. But I hope I didn't break anything. So this is one of the coolest parts about um, the Beluga XL. You can, um, 
you can actually replace um some doors which is actually pretty cool there is a actually i actually want to get this i'm not pretty sure but to convince my parents to get this it is kind of like an a320 uh, fuselage but it has not been finished there's a 1 to 400 version and the 1 to 200 version um i don't know what it's really really called but maybe you can search it up um you can add it to your beluga uh, xl collection because it's really really nice um because um the beluga xl is actually in service now so this is going to add to your collection so there is a a320 i'm pretty sure fuselage hasn't been um con uh been made yet and you can put it in the fuselage right here that looks like um the a320 is going into the beluga xl and the beluga xl is going to fly to another place where the a320 is going to be uh later constructed so this is one of my favorite parts about the beluga xl as you can see inside hollow and that's basically all of it other spe uh, specifications is that the landing gears can tilt like this like a normal beluga xl landing so let's now put it on the stand. I actually like the model like without the landing gear because it looks like it's just gliding over the uh, airport. So let's tilt the landing gears. And here it looks like um, on the stand. So this is what it looks like. It looks very, very nice. I definitely recommend you getting this model because it, it looks very, very nice. I said very nice so many times because it's very, very nice. You gotta admit that, and look, it actually looks like a real aircraft model, and I you can actually detach the uh, landing gear if you want to do that. So this is in the in-flight configuration. I prefer the in-flight configuration because it looks, looks like it's gliding over the airport or gliding over somewhere, so it looks pretty cool. So I guess that is it with today's video. I hope you guys have uh, liked the vi whole video. Um, please um, subscribe and turn on those post notifications to never miss another video. And I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.